Today I wanted to show you something I'm doing with my transplants in the greenhouse. And what that is, is thinning. And uh, the way I thin is I use a pair of cuticle scissors. Um, even out in the garden, uh, carrots or whatever small seeds you put in and you accidentally put too many and, you know, four or five come up in the same hole. Uh, I use my cuticle scissors and I cut back every uh, plant that shouldn't be there. And that way I'm not disturbing the roots that are along with the other plants. So I've cut these back, but I really, let me get closer. I really just want one, one plant per cell. So let me come over there and get up really close. And I hope you can see these guys. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. You can see where I've cut some of them back and I'll just leave them in there to rot or whatever. But uh, out of these two back here, well, let me get it spun around. If you can see these two right here, out of the two of them, this one is getting its true leaves, you can see on the top, but it's spindly. And this one back here, even though it's just starting to get its, its true leaves, um, it's shorter, stockier, and healthier. So I want one plant per cell, so I am going to just go ahead and cut this off. Even though it's not growing right next to it, um, I've already cut out the ones growing right next to it. So there's no worry about seeds here, but I am going to take out the second plant that I've left in each cell and just let one grow per cell, and I'm just going to cut them off. And that one looks a little spindly, and that one back there looks healthier, so I'm going to take that one out. So now I'm down to one plant per cell, and these are uh, broccoli. So that little guy, I can take him out of there if I want to, throw him on the ground, whatever. Uh, but now there's one plant per cell. They all look healthy. I'm going to either put them back in the greenhouse or I'll take them out and put them in the hoop house because I've noticed that uh, the plants out there are really doing well, a lot better than they are in here in the greenhouse. Uh, things are just getting too spindly in here. So let me grab one more. Now see, <laughs> you can tell by, by these beets. Let me move you over a little bit. And you can see that if I pulled some of these out, they're in almost the exact same, uh, coming out the same hole. Well, these two are. They're coming out the exact same hole. And uh, I'm just going to take one of those out, and I'll take that one out. And uh, back here, and here, and let me take the tag out. You can see that these two... Let me get in there real close. I hope you can see that, that these two are coming out of the same exact um, planting space. So I'm going to reach in there. I'm going to be really careful. And I'm <laughs> trying to get this turned so you can see it. I'm going to be really careful, and I'm going to cut one of them off and get rid of him. And there's another one growing out of the same spot. So uh, that's my little tip for today. Um, you know, if you have a bigger, bigger pair of scissors, it's not going to work as well. Uh, you'll probably get it in there, and you may be cutting back more plants than you want to if you have a big pair of scissors. But if you have a pair like this, if you have any kids, um, maybe you have a pair of scissors that you use to cut their nails with when they were little, um, or you can just go and buy a pair of cuticle scissors, but they're tiny. They have a little sharp um, end on them to get in between the plants. And that's how I thin my transplants or my seedlings. Uh, basically, that's it. I'm going to leave this one short and sweet and not drone on and on with a fever. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying next time I won't... Uh, I won't film if I if I'm sick in any way. <laughs> yeah, actually, it was pretty funny. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping in again, or actually, thanks for coming over. 
It's been a long time since I had company. And uh, I'll see you later. Have a good day, you guys. Bye-bye.